Hello everyone. In today's cell biology class, we should discuss regarding the ultra structure and functions of centrosomes. Okay. Myself, Sanat Kumar Jain, Assistant Professor of Zoology, Government College for Women, Kola. Let us get started. Now, so a brief introduction regarding the structure of the centrosomes. Okay. Now, a centrosome is a structure consisting of two cylindrical structures surrounded by an amorphous area uh, and from this amorphous area there are radiating microtubules this kind of a structure present near the nucleus is what is termed as a centrosome so they are usually found near the nucleus two important structures centrioles amorphous area in the radiating microtubules this amorphous area consists of various protein molecules and these are the centrioles now the centrosome consists of two important uh, structures number one centrioles number two the surrounding mass are the centrosphere now the centrioles what are these centrioles centrioles are the cylindrical structures they are rod shaped microtubular structures okay so the cylindrical structures are made up of microtubules and these microtubules are in turn made up of proteins known as the tubulin proteins so if you consider the measurement of the uh, centriolar structures they measure around 0.15 to 0.25 micrometers and 0.3 to 0.25 micrometers in length okay so what is their function they usually form spindle of microtubules during the cell division and there is no limiting membrane that we see in case of the centrioles and in some cells these centrioles also form the basal body of the flagella and cilia now this is the structure of the centrosome now in the centrosome as i told you there are two cylindrical structures called centrioles and there is an amorphous area surrounding these two cylindrical structures known as the pericentriolar material and these two cylindrical structures one is a mother centriole one is a daughter centriole these two centrioles are linked together by interconnecting fibers and the from the amorphous area there are radiating microtubular structures and these have polarity positive and negative polarity the positive polarity indicates the addition of the tubulin proteins negative area is where disintegration of the tubulin protein takes place so let us see in detail the structural aspects of centrosome now when we consider the ultra structure of the centrosome it mainly consists of six components number one the cylindrical wall triplets linkers card wheel ciliary rootlets basal feet and the satellites all these so you can see the cylindrical structures and the sectional view let us see in detail now when we consider a centriole it is made up of mainly nine triplets of microtubules so you can see in this picture one two three four five six seven eight nine nine triplets of microtubules are present here they are arranged as if there is an imaginary cylinder present around the cylinder in the circumference there is arrangement of nine triplets of microtubules okay so they are arranged in the circumference and also in between these uh, triplets you can see there is presence of an amorphous electron dense material okay so and so between the nine triplets arrangement at the center you can see there is presence of veins which are arranged like blades of a pinwheel the cartwheel or pinwheel kind of a arrangement we can see here now if you look at the triplets again the arrangement is in a particular angle to the circumference and this angle is around 45 degrees and the triplets of microtubules nine of them form the wall of the centriole so horizontally when you view a centriole it looks like this and this is the sectional view which we have discussed three microtubular triplets that are present we name them as a b and c a is facing towards the center 
and you can see the A is linked to the C. We shall see this in the next slide. Now these nine triplets, they form the wall are basically similar in centrioles and basal body. Remember the centriolar structures that form the uh, cilia and flagella are considered as the basal body. Okay, so centrioles and basal body, they are made up of uh, the nine triplets of microtubules. Uh, the triplets are named as A, P and C microtubules. Okay, now in among these three, A, B and C, A is completely circular having around 13 subunits and B and C, they are not complete. They do not have a circular structure. Instead, they have a C-shaped structure. And these triplets, they form the long axis. The, the triplets run parallel to one another and they form the long, long axis of the cylinder. Now, these triplets, once they are arranged, as we have seen in the previous picture and this picture, these are connected to each other. The nine triplets are connected to each other by what are known as the protein linkers and these protein linkers not only connect them with each other they also bring about the required tilt that is present to make the triplets around uh, the circumference of the imaginary cylinder one is to connect them second one is to bring them a specific tilt not only the triplets nine triplets even the mother and the daughter centrioles they are also connected by interlinking proteins now in detail, so this picture better shows you the triplets A, B and C. You can see here the A of the consecutive uh, triplet is connected to C of the subsequent uh, triplet. Okay, uh, So they are connected in turn by A to C. They are connected by linker proteins. Now in the center, there is a pinhole or cartwheel kind of a structure we can see. We have already discussed these spoke like structures are present, but these are not very clear in case of a centrosome. Now, in when we take a section of the centrosome, what we can clearly see is arrangement of nine triplets of microtubules connected by linker proteins, but no central microtubules can be seen. In case of basal body of cilia and flagella, at the center here we can see two more microtubules that are present. But in case of a centriole, these central microtubules are absent. And microtubular units are also connected with some special arms in case of basal body, but that is also absent in case of the centrosome. But instead of these prominent spoke-like structures, but in case of centrosome, we can see faint protein spokes that form the central core that gives a cartwheel kind of a structure and that forms the proximal end. Formation of this cartwheel kind of organization forms structural and functional polarity to the centrosome. Now, the proximal end, at the proximal end of the mother centriole, we can see the daughter centriole are the pericentrioles. In some cells, the basal body ends of the basal microtubules may consist of rootlets originating which are tubular or striated. So this is the structure we have seen. Now, so I told you centrosomes are empty holes in, in some cells form cilia or the flagella. So is that the same when we take a sectional view? There is slight difference between the arrangement of microtubular triplets in case of uh, the centrosome, cilia and flagella. You can easily recognize this is the structure, centriolar structure we are talking about, presence of the nine triplets, but this is a different case in case of cilia and flagella. So along with these structures, the centrioles also consist of what is known as basal feet and the satellites. You can see at the circumference area of the 
uh, cylindrical structures there is presence of the pericentriolar satellites what are they the satellites are perpendicular bodies are electron dense structures lying near the centrioles okay so probably they are the nucleating site for the microtubules so when we uh, talk about the functions of the centrosomes they are the ones which forms the uh, microtubules or the spindle fiber microtubules at that time origin of the spindle fiber is from these satellite bodies and along with that there is also basal feet which are the dense processes that are arranged perpendicular to the basal body so here you can see these satellites are the areas when the centrosome acts as a nucleating body during the cell division from the satellites starts radiating the spindle microtubules now chemical composition of the centrosome if you consider so they are made up of proteins known as the tubulin proteins and there are also lipid molecules that are present these tubulin protein molecules added on the positive polarity of the microtubules to grow them cons constituting what is uh, called as the microtubular triplets resulting in formation of cylindrical structures apart from the tubulin proteins and lipid molecules the microtubules also contain atpase enzyme now that is regarding the structure of the centrosome now if you consider the functions the first important function uh, it is uh, the centrosomes they form the basal body and the cilia is the specialized functions of the centrioles in the cells okay so basal bodies are the structures which are the ones give rise to cilia and flagella and centrosomes results in formation of these basal bodies okay not only that centrosome organizes the array of cytoplasmic microtubules during interphase so they play a very important role during the cell division and they undergo duplication just like that of the dna and once in the mitotic phase these centrioles which got duplicated get separated and go to the poles and in the poles they start uh, producing the microtubules of the spindle fibers let us see now if you, here you can see uh, in the by the end of the prophase the duplicated centrioles move to the poles and in the poles the centrioles start producing the spindle fibers microtubules of the spindle fibers which are essential for the chromosomal segregation between the two daughter cells now apart from this in some spermatozoa centrioles give rise to the tail fiber or the flagellum the centrosome that is the centrioles and basal bodies are involved in ciliary and flagellar movement because the centrosome give rise to the basal body that is very well involved in the ciliary and flagellar beating now they also help in perceiving the optical acoustic and olfactory signals okay so these are the functions of the centrioles here you can see the role of centrioles during the cell division so they are the one in the interface they start multiplying becomes two in number the end of the prophase they move to the poles and results in formation of the microtubules of the spindle fibers which is very essential for segregation of the chromosomes okay so that is regarding the structure and functions of the um, centrosome thank you